if you want to hit shots like this, there's only one badge you need on NBA 2K25. Shifty Shooter is the best shooting badge on the game. And I have clips here in the rec, in the proving grounds, in the pro-am, y'all, with takeover, without takeover. Shifty Shooter is the best shooting badge. And especially the power of legend, Shifty Shooter, it's insane, y'all. It's not just fades. It's also off the dribble shots. Look, off the step back from half court. Okay, it's off the dribble. It's fading. Okay, beyond the hash, fading. But look, here's the verse of the video, man. It says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, man. Make sure you guys repent because the Holy Spirit is the greatest gift of all. But look, man, I wanted to say shout outs to everybody who's been subscribing, man. All y'all been showing me love. Appreciate everybody. Over 4,000 subscribers on the channel, man. We just hit 4K last night. I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. So look. You guys see I'm on my grind. You see all the badges. I might do a video on Strong Handle um, because it's a super duper underrated badge. People are sleeping on strength. Okay, but this is my damn near 99 overall, 5'9 point guard build, man. This is the most fun build on 2K25, one of my favorite builds. The 5'9s are so much fun, y'all. They're so glitchy. It's just crazy, y'all. But look, a lot of people have been asking me, What's my animation is? There's all my dribbles. Here's the best dribble pull up, y'all. People been asking me, Waff, what's your fade? The best fade is Pro 2. Okay, if you want to shoot these type of shifty shooter shots, if you want to be able to pull fades, y'all, make sure you have the right animation, okay? Pro 2 is the best dribble pull up. It was the best one last year, and it's the best one this year again, okay? So, what what is shifty shooter badge, y'all? Let me explain, okay? Shifty shooter badge, it works like rhythm shooter, Difficult shots, mini magician, agent threes, y'all, all of that. Okay, space crater, all of that, y'all. It's all of that rolled into one. Okay, so it's not just fades. It's, it's shot creator shots. Shot creators are going to love this game. You see I hit the red contested and one off the hop jumper. That's that James Harden hop jumper, y'all. In my opinion, it's the best, and it's my favorite hop jumper. That's what I use. There's probably more meta ones, um, but it, it's like, a, like I said, shifty shooter. It's more of a shot creating badge. And especially on Legend, I'm going to tell you guys that I've, I've experienced every single level. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Hall of Fame, and now I put it on Legend, y'all. Legend is a noticeable difference over Hall of Fame. Okay? And the difference between Hall of Fame and Legend Shifty Shooter is more noticeable than the difference between Hall of Fame and Legend Limitless Range. Okay? So with that Legend Shifty Shooter... I promise I could feel it every time I faded. It opened up my green window so much more compared to that Hall of Fame, y'all. It's a very, very noticeable difference. Like this right here, I get the steal. I don't even have two-way tenacity yet, y'all. That's not two-way tenacity. Wait till I get two-way on this build. But as you see, I'm fading from half court. No take, y'all. I promise you, Shifty Shooter is overpowered, man. It's an overpowered badge. But one of the keys to actually utilizing this badge effectively, if you want to actually be able to use Shifty Shooter, get progress on it, you have to actually be a Shifty player. You have to actually be a Shifty player, y'all. And I might do a whole in-depth video on dribbling and what I've learned this year. But um, Dasar, he just posted a, a live stream the other day. He went really in-depth with the dribbling, y'all. Kevin Cruz went really in-depth with the dribbling, man. The dribbling in 2K25 is different than other 2Ks, man. So you really have to learn it. And one thing that really helped me was stay off turbo. If you want to be a shifty shooter, if you want to be a shifty player, y'all, this year, stay off of turbo, you guys. Learn when to burst with turbo, when not to hold turbo. And that's how you really become shifty. Like that right there, how I just cook them to the little midi fade. That's how you become shifty. Okay, that's how you really become a shifty player. And being a shifty player allows you to use the shifty shooter badge. Because if you can't get open, if you can't create a shot, you're not going to be able to use this badge in the first place. You feel me? Even simple stuff, just like that, running to the open spot and fading. That's the most simple way to use this badge, just running to the open spot and fading. But there's other stuff you can do. Like I said, it's the shot creator badge. So it's difficult shots. It's midi maestro. It's space creator. 
okay so shoot hop jumpers shoot spin shots okay it's not always just phase there's different moves that you can pull out of the bag honestly i'm not too sure if shifty shooter counts for your like go-to shots and stuff like that i'm not gonna lie you guys i haven't used the go-to shot one time in nba 2k25 um honestly i just probably need to lab it i just haven't felt like i really needed to use it i guess i haven't found a good one or just haven't really utilized it but in my opinion i don't really use the go-to shot but maybe go-to shot works with shifty shooter as well if you hold your go-to shot maybe that activates shifty shooter i do not know okay but as for like fades and hop jumpers stuff like this this is how you be shifty you see how i'm playing with pace i'm starting and stopping okay that's what really allows you to create the space and as long as you can create the space in this game the shooting is honestly pretty easy like nothing can really get contested it's all about just timing and and i, I made a whole jump shot video i just gave you guys the best dribble pull up the best fade i already gave you guys the best jump shot make sure you guys are playing on release visual cue release visual cue i see a lot of people are going like halfway between push and release y'all in my opinion i would not do that i would go all the way release visual cue that's what i play on i mean you see the type of shots that i'm able to hit release visual cue and just master that okay if you want to hit red stuff like that just play on release don't try to change your timing don't try to change jump shots okay don't try to change animations you have to stick with one thing and master it okay if you want to shoot fades and stuff like that y'all it's not something that you can just pull out of your ass okay you have to actually practice these shots you have to master these shots it's not just on the fly you know once you get to that level yeah you can just pull a fade if it's there you know what i'm saying but it, it's not just it's not going to come to you off rip you have to practice these shots you have to pull these shots in game you have to practice them in the lab in the my court in the gatorade okay but most importantly in game be confident when you shoot y'all just because it's a fade fades are back this year y'all the fading feels really really good from three from midi from everywhere fades are back okay and you don't need takeover you don't need legend shifty shooter you can still shoot with hall of fame you can still shoot with gold okay you can still fade with with gold shifty shooter y'all you don't need legendary but that's just in my experience having legend shifty shooter it allows me to just hit crazy shots with crazy confidence y'all and that's one thing I, I needed to touch on this year so many people are, are playing scared i know we're not even a week in yet but don't be scared man play with confidence shoot with confidence y'all it's just a video game man it's just a video game at the end of the day like i said earlier in the video man the most important thing is repenting and being baptized in the holy spirit with father god because if you have that then honestly win or lose 2k it doesn't really matter nothing else really matters okay but another thing that helps man make sure you have your hot spots a lot of people don't have hot spots man make sure you get your hot spots grind my career if you have to i got all my hot spots just playing the game y'all shooting doesn't feel hard to me i know i have a high three ball but shooting i haven't had an issue shooting this year it feels pretty easy for me to shoot as long as you're taking good shots you just have to find your timing and master your timing but look at the look at this right here y'all you see the pace that i'm playing at that little hesitation move that's what i mean by being a shifty player to activate shifty shooter that little hesitation i know i drove to the rim off that but it's little stuff like that little moves like that that's gonna allow you to get to these pockets to fade that's gonna allow you to to manipulate the defense and find the open spot to where you can shoot a little pocket shot you can shoot a little midi pull up dribble pull up okay but you have to actually know how to dribble you have to know how to create these shots man in order to find that like look you see how i walk up the court real slow then burst out of it for the dunk stuff like that man it's about going fast and then slow slow and then fast fast slow fast slow fast slow if you really hoop you know exactly what i'm talking about but look that's gonna be all for this video man make sure you guys like subscribe man turn on post notifications because i'm really grinding for y'all going crazy i appreciate all the love you guys have been showing man appreciate over 4,000 subscribers man i love all of y'all thank god for every single one of y'all comment what videos y'all want to see next and i hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day peace